The name of movie mechanic. Arthur Bishop lives in a tourist area by the sea on his boat. He wakes up in the morning, drinks his coffee, plays the music he likes and listens to. Then he gets out of the boat and activates a bomb in the boat. This is in case someone is trying to steal the boat. Then he drives his motorcycle and goes to a restaurant, and all the people in the restaurant know him. The waiter gives Bishop a special seating area overlooking the sea. Then a girl with Asian features comes to him and tells him that she has been looking for him for a long time. She tells him that her boss wants him to kill three people and he should kill them as if they died naturally. And she tells him that this thing is not difficult for him because he is an expert in his work. She tells him that if he does not agree, she will report him because he is wanted by many parties and tells them that he is still alive. Because he faked his death and walked away from everything. Bishop notices that there are people with this girl. They were looking at him with looks of threat. He asks her to make a phone call and when he takes out his phone, he takes a picture of the girl. When she tries to take out the gun, he stops her and hits her. Then the people with the girl start attacking Bishop, but he was able to hit them with great skill. Bishop then notices on security cameras that thugs are coming towards him. Bishop jumps off the restaurant wall and descends on the cable car. The girl follows Bishop with a number of men, and they enter the cable car and threaten the people in it. They were trying to find Bishop, but he was above them. The girl shoots him and tries to board him, but Bishop jumps off and lands on a plastic plane for the tourists. When Bishop returns to the boat at night, he watches the place from a distance and notices the presence of two people on the boat, and they search the boat. Without any thought, Bishop takes out his phone and blows up the boat. Then he goes to a place with large containers, opens one of the containers, and burns his passport and some things related to his information. Then Bishop goes to an island in Thailand and meets a girl he knows, and this girl owns a tourist hotel on the island, so she takes him to a room he used to live in. Bishop opens a secret place in the room and takes out a bag containing phones, weapons and passports, and then searches for the girl he took a picture of in the restaurant. He knows information about her and a person named Crane. He is the person this girl works for. When Gina enters and meets the owner of the hotel, she asks her for first aid. The hotel owner notices bruises on Gina's hand from the beating. The hotel owner talks to Gina and tells her if she needs any more help. But Gina tells her she only needs a first aid kit and then gets out. At night, on board a boat near the hotel, the owner of the hotel, whom Bishop knows, notices that there is a girl on the boat and that someone is beating her. She goes to Bishop and asks him to help this girl. Then Bishop arrives at the boat and tells the man to leave the girl and not to hit her. But the man refuses to leave her and was trying to raise the gun on Bishop, but Bishop hits him and kills him. Then he returns to the hotel and tells the owner of the hotel that he has completed the task and asks her to take Gina to the hotel. When Bishop searches the boat, he finds her passport and phone, and his picture of Bishop is in the phone. Then he blows up the boat and goes back to the hotel and asks Gina why his picture is on her phone. He asks her if she works for Crane. She tells him that Crane has something to threaten her with and tells him that everything that happened is a plot to trap Bishop. The plan was to get to know him and that after she met him, she would call the number on her phone and then her mission would end. Bishop knows that Gina has a shelter for children who have been victims of human trafficking and Crane was threatening her that if she did not implement his requests, he would kill the children. Bishop notices a boat in the sea approaching the island with men on board, and these men keep watch on the island. Bishop asks Gina to act as if she's befriending him, and indeed, this is what happened. Then Gina apologizes to him for setting her up and tells him that she had no other choice because the kids were everything to her. Bishop tells her that he appreciates her attitude because he was an orphan. He tells her that he and Crane were bought by a gangster and he tells her that he managed to escape from them, but Crane did not escape, so they punished him because they thought that he was the reason for his escape, and for this reason, Crane hated Bishop. Bishop then plots an escape with Gina. He gives her a watch as a souvenir and asks her to keep it until they meet again. The next day, Crane's men come and kidnap Gina. Bishop calls Crane and asks him to meet man to man. Bishop, when he meets Crane, asks him to release Gina. Crane tells Bishop that he will release her, but only after Arthur Bishop kills three people. Crane gives a file containing people's information to Bishop. The first person was an African arms dealer imprisoned in a maximum security prison, and it was difficult to reach this prison. Then Crane gives Bishop a GPS capsule and asks him to swallow it after completing his mission in order for them to reach him. Bishop asks Crane what evidence is that Gina is still alive, and Crane tells him that after every operation he performs, they will let him make a phone call to her. He tells him that they will send him her location after he completes his last mission. 
Then in Malaysia, Bishop reviews the information about the prison in which the first person is located. The place of the prison was in the middle of the sea which was full of sharks. The prison was surrounded by cliffs 100 meters high. This means that the task is difficult and entering prison is almost impossible. Bishop investigates the information of some wanted men and then he chooses one of them and he had a distinctive tattoo drawn on his face so Bishop forges his identity in the name of this person. Then he buys some of the things he will need to carry out the mission. On the second day, he walks in the street and they arrest him and send him to prison. Bishop remembers Crane's words telling him that if people weren't dead by accident, he wouldn't come by boat to save him. Bishop notes that the arms dealer does not walk alone, but has people to protect him. Bishop asks a prisoner about the arms dealer. The prisoner tells him that this person is called Krill and he killed the president of Liberia. He told him that many people tried to kill him in prison. When a prisoner tries to kill Krill, Bishop protects him. Krill thanks Bishop and invites him to dinner. When Bishop meets him, he kills him. Krill's death was shown to have been caused by food poisoning. Then Bishop blows up the prison wall and paints his body with a substance that keeps sharks away from him. Then he swallows his GPS capsule and jumps into the sea. A message arrives to the captain of the boat that Bishop has succeeded in his mission and they send the location to him, after which Bishop talks to Gina on a video call and she tells him that he has 36 hours left to kill the second person or they will kill her. Bishop tells Gina that no one can kill her. Crane sends information about the second person and his name was Adrian, a billionaire who works in the field of minerals, but his main business is human trafficking and he lives in Australia in a skyscraper on the 58th floor and he tells him that this person's apartment is armored with a concrete wall and all the doors of his apartment are armored and against bullets and every entrance has sensors and a fingerprint device. Bishop pretends he wants to rent the flat below this man's. Bishop copies the apartment keys and takes a detailed drawing of the apartment. Then he makes glass bombs, disguises himself in the clothes of a maintenance worker and enters the apartment whose keys he made. And then he goes out of the apartment to the glass pool located in the apartment of the billionaire. Bishop plants the glass bomb and then blows up the swimming pool in which the billionaire was staying and he falls and dies. And when Gina is talking to Bishop, she makes a clever move by pointing the camera at the number of the boat she is in. It is through him that Bishop can know the whereabouts of the boat. Bishop goes by helicopter to the place where the boat is. He enters the boat and kills some guards, but then he is caught. Crane threatens Bishop and tells him that if he tries again, the agreement between them will be cancelled. Then Crane asks Bishop to complete the last mission, which is to kill a rich American arms dealer called Max, who bought a monument to Bulgarian communism, and this monument was built on a mountain and inside the mountain was hiding a basin for repairing submarines, and these submarines are equipped with intercontinental missiles. No one was able to enter or exit from this place and all the people who tried have died. After the two people who were killed by Bishop died, Max increased his security defenses. Bishop had 48 hours to complete the task. Bishop learns that Max has ordered a medical helicopter. Bishop can hide under the plane, and when he arrives, he puts a device that jams the surveillance cameras. He beats the guards present. When the guards try to send Max to the safe room in the building, Bishop blows up the elevator. When Max enters the safe room, he finds Bishop in front of him. Bishop agrees with Max to pretend he's dead and trick Crane. In order for them to find Max's body, Cray must send his men to search for it, so Crane will be alone in the boat, and it is easy to kill him. Indeed, Max's death was faked. And then an explosion occurs in the headquarters where Max is located. When Max falls into the basin, Bishop is waiting for him with an oxygen bottle, and then they go out to an island. Bishop calls Crane and asks him to release Gina, but Crane refuses and asks to see Max's body. Bishop informs Crane that the body is in his submarine and is in the submarine dock. Crane orders his men to go to the submarine dock to make sure Max is dead. Bishop was preparing the place to receive Crane's men, where he planted explosives everywhere, and when Crane's men arrive, Arthur Bishop kills them. Crane watches what happened through security cameras. Bishop gets on Crane's boat and kills all the guards. Gina gets shot. Crane triggers the self-detonation on the boat. Bishop manages to reach Gina and puts her in a survival pod, which detaches from the boat before it explodes. Bishop enters into a fight with Crane. Bishop ties Crane with a chain and the boat explodes. Gina is saved. Max and his men have been watching the boat wreck being extracted from the sea. Then we watch Gina with the kids and she is surprised that Bishop is in front of her. And when Max is reviewing the surveillance cameras, he notices that Bishop was hiding in the steel room, which is found in any boat for emergencies. And here the movie ends.
Thank you for watching.